This is Heidi Caswell, WordPress 101 for Boomers. And we have been doing several WordPress tutorials. And right now we've been talking about links and menus and changing them. We're going to go back on into links and a little bit more about links. As you can see over here on the side, um, I think we need to scroll up a little bit. But you got the uh, all links, add new. If you, these are the things that come under links. If you want to add a new link, just click add new link, which is what I'm doing right here. This page will pop up. You can have another link. I put the name of the link, the web address, a description, and then I check which category I want it to show up in. And you can make a new category if you want. You can also decide whether you want it to show up in a new window, which I do because this one's going to a different website than my own. You can have links within your own website and build them this way. Uh, these links is a great way if you don't know any HTML but you want to link to certain pages, this will do it for you. Um, you can uh, have it at, on the same window or tab uh, or the current window or tab with no frames. Just different things that you want to choose on. I'm going to do uh, blank because I want it in a new window and, and I'll have the current window and tab if I was on the same site. I'm not on the same site so I'm going to open it up in a new one. It's up to you how you do that. And here they want to know how you uh, this is another web address of mine. This is kind of to help them know how much um, how close you relate, you know, just how it's just how, how you get together with it and it does make a difference a little bit. Um, if you have an address, an image you want attached to it, a little uh, you go ahead and put the image here and um, RSS address, let's try adding that to it. You can add any notes that you want about it. Uh, you can have a rating if you want to rate it. I like that side. I'll give it a good rating. But it's up to you what you do with it. Um, you can make your link private or uh, keep it public. I just click the add link button. Now it's giving me the chance to add another link if I wish. Uh, now just add in a link right here. Just not put it on your website. You'll have to do something else to get it to show up there. The link categories is where you get to edit your different categories. Uh, you get to uh, give it a description, a name. You can add them, uh, delete it. This one's got shows how many links are in each of them. Uh, your description's going to show up here if you've given it a description. Anyway, that's the categories. Okay, you've got another category made up with links and you want them to show up. You can either have all your links show up or you can pick one category links. Let's go like with my website, hit save. And voila, there it is. And it's mouse over. You can see the description will show up there. And that works well. So anyway, you can get your link. I said label it, whatever it is. It's good if you're using keywords that go with things that you're using. Uh, whatever works for you, whatever you want to use. Uh, you can go back and change that later. And give the category a different name. But that's how you can get links to different places. Now we're going to go with into menus. We'll come right back in the next video. Uh, Heidi Caswell, WordPress 101 for Boomers.